Open the pod bay doors. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. What would you do with a brain if you had one? Do? Why, if I had a brain, I could... Miles per hour. I could while away. 46, 56, please. Okay, so I am exceedingly honored and absolutely thrilled to be here. The movie that we're going to watch is fantastic. I've already seen it twice. <laughs> and I'm actually living their legacy. So it's particularly important to me and meaningful for me. Um, some of you were alive as I was during the space race. And during this, I was still pretty young. But... Um, that idea of the race to the moon, and part of the collection out front in the lobby is about that. That idea that everybody wanted a piece of the space race. So everybody was making everything. You saw the cookie jar maybe, some of the magazines, just all kinds of memorabilia. And a lot of it was made here in Ohio. A lot of the astronauts were from Ohio, including John Glenn. And a lot of the pottery shops in Ohio were really making all these kinds of things to um, celebrate the space race. So tonight, uh, for those of you that know me, you know I'm a plant biologist. Somebody came in and said, you're a plant biologist, why are you here? I said, well, I'm here because we actually got to fly a mission. So I work on gravity and how gravity affects plants and plant growth. And of course, what's the perfect control for that experiment? No gravity. And the only place you can find that is space. So I'm going to show you just a little bit about what we do, mostly the launch. <laughs> but um, so before we get started with the movie. So this is the group at Kennedy, and this is our patch. Uh, it's downstairs as well. And you'll notice it's a fairly large group. That's just the group to do my small experiment. And you'll notice there's a lot of diversity and a lot of women in that crowd. Again, legacy of the people uh, highlighted in hidden, hidden figures. This is where we were, the International Space Station Processing Facility. They actually gave us our own lab space <laughs> with the key to the door. It was great. <laughs> for, for a space bug, I'm telling you, to just walk in that place and go, well, I have the badge, I, have the, I can go in the rooms. My colleague and I were down there. We're just geeking out. We're taking pictures of everything. The floor, the door, everything. This was the coolest thing that ever happened. Um, this was our experiment. This is Proma Bazu, who is in the audience. She's one of my grad students. Um, uh, we pleated our seeds, our plants, in these little round dishes. There's some of that out on the table as well, if you want to see kind of the idea of it. And yes, these are my hands. <laughs> that ring broke like two weeks later. It's like, are you kidding me? <laughs> It's the only way to know. So that's what they look like right before flight. You can see these teeny tiny little Arabidopsis seeds. There's about 800 on a plate. And these little guys are going to go into this piece of hardware that's called a PDFU. Anybody get a rough idea how many people it's going to take to put that dish in that container? Five. <laughs> Five. All of those people. Um, I'm right here, just for reference. <laughs> there I am, sitting right there, yep. Unwrapping the plates and handing it to the woman that actually has the piece of equipment. So, so these are all the parts. There are like nine gazillion parts to these things. So there's one, two, three, four, five. So we build them up, that's five. And they go in this that's called a brick. And it's about that big, about like a brick. Um, and there's a data logger here. So there's five in that one. We sent four bricks to ISS. That was about 22 plates total. There's the rocket. The rocket down on um, the table is a model of this rocket. And we flew that here at OU on one of the, it was supposed to be a simultaneous launch. NASA didn't help us. <laughs> <laughs> so my students called me, and I'm at NASA, and they said, what should we do? And I said, launch it. 
So they launched and I stood in the parking lot <coughs> at Kennedy. So there it is. It has to be on its side to load the rocket. This is the Dragon. So off to see the launch. We're in the van. We are so excited. It's 4 a.m. It's really quiet. We're playing music in the car. We are so stoked. So we get out there. Here we are. Hanging out. ISS actually came over and we got to see it. It's like, oh, this is perfect ISS. The rocket's going to launch. There it is. That's what we're watching. It went nowhere. <laughs> You're going to see that happen to the people in Hidden Figures once or twice, too. Uh, my experiment holds the record for the number, for the brick experiment with the most number of failed launches. <laughs> Nothing to do with me. <laughs> now, the benefit for me, of course, is that I've been to Kennedy 10 times to get that thing off the ground. So, space flight, do over. <laughs> off to see the launch again. Oh, wait. T-minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. And lift off of the SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket with Dragon, continuing the resupply chain to the International Space Station. Isn't it cool? So we flew on the Dragon. This is a Dragon. The um, Canadian arm, mechanical arm, reaches out and grabs the Dragon and brings it into dock. Astronauts unload. The experiment flew. But the seeds actually grew for three days. All of this, three days. And then they fix the experiment and they get it ready to come back down. This is what we got back, frozen. And we stood in the cold room while we let it thaw just enough to get the screws out. Popsicles. This is my experiment. This is the part I want, popsicles. And this is Colin Cruz up on the right side. He's another one of my graduate students. He, he's still here. <laughs> he's supposed to be studying for a biochemistry test. <laughs> it came back to us, what they do. I had to go to Kennedy, OK? So I went to Kennedy with Colin. We undid all of this. We got our site. I taped the plates up, put them in a FedEx box that was cold, frozen. I flew back, and they chased me. <laughs> so this truck leaves Kennedy, and they drive your samples back nonstop, two drivers nonstop. They called me about an hour out and said, we're here, or we're getting, we're getting really close. Two hours later, in the snowstorm, I'm going, where is it? <laughs> but it came back. There it is, space flight sample. You can see I'm a little excited. <laughs> so they come back frozen. We get the plants. These are the ones you can see something like that downstairs to see what they look like. But this is a group. And I just want to say again, Hidden Figures Tonight, fantastic movie. And it's their legacy that we get to celebrate. So with that, let's start the movie. <laughs>